Hello, my friends. Uh, just thought I would use this opportunity to give you a quick flex plot update, and I might actually be doing this more frequently, um, especially in this format, because this format's pretty easy, no editing involved. For those who are my students, don't watch this video until after you have done the homework, which inspired the change in the first place. So, um, FlexPlot now has the ability to visualize uh, mixed models, and so I'm just going to give a demonstration of a couple of things that you could do. So I should probably add require flex plot at the top here. I mean, it's already loaded for me, but uh, for the rest of you, that is what you'll have to do. Also, you have to require lemur4, which is the stats package that I use to do mixed modeling. And then if we load the data set, and so we could start with a random effects ANOVA, which has no predictors, and it just... Um, kind of looks at the variability between schools and their mean on the outcome variable, which in this case is math achievement. And so if I were to visualize this, it would just show me um, the fixed effect in red, which in this case ends up being, looks like, uh, so halfway between 10 and 15, looks like about 12.5. And then these are the random effects. So this is just three randomly chosen schools. Instead of doing three, you could do sample equals 10. And that would show you 10 different plots. Um, also, instead of model, you could leave it at the default, uh, which I think is all. Let's see if that works. Yes, so it is all. Um, it just takes a lot more time because um, it has to plot each of these individual data points, which takes a while. But anyway, it gives you some residuals to look at. So that's nice and fancy and stuff. Now, let's say we want to look at the predictor socioeconomic status. Um, so visualize can take a flex plot formula. So here I'm specifying that I want to see six schools sampled at random, and I want to put schools on the uh, column panels. And so if we were to look at that, it would look like this with a different school set for each of the column panels. And uh, basically what we're looking for is we interpret this like a, we would a scatter plot. We just want to make sure that the lines kind of pass through the most dense parts, parts of the data set. I'm going to actually squish that a bit, make the aspect ratio a little more even. And based on what I'm seeing, there's no reason to suspect there's anything wonky going on. So it looks like a linear model might be appropriate. Um, now, instead of paneling it on the columns, you could choose instead to plot each school as a separate line, which is what that does. And it'll give you a legend for which school is which. Um, up to a point, I think once it gets past 10, it just becomes unwieldy. So uh, if you try to plot more than 10 schools at one time, it's just not going to show you a legend. It's just going to show you different colors. Um, let's see. So now let's say we wanted to add multiple predictors, including minority and sex in there. And if we supplied no formulas, this, this is how Flexplot decided to do things. It's going to put uh, school as the uh, second slot in the flex plot formula and then panel on uh, sex and minority. Uh, things look good there. We could um, instead specify a formula and say we want the schools to be, actually that should produce the same thing, except that's actually going to get rid of minority status because we're not going to, um, we don't have it specified here. So if we ran that instead, it's going to give us a message saying that, hey, you didn't ask for minority, so I'm just going to default to no in this case. And so anyway, those um, are some features of how you can visualize flex plot models for mixed models. And uh, if there are any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, if you like me doing these sort of updates, like I said, these are kind of easy to do. So uh, leave a comment and let me know if this is something that appeals to you, and I'll keep doing it. Thanks.